Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. In this video, we're checking out level two out of the dungeon free play for Lego Harry Potter years one through four. As you can see on the right hand side, we do grab all of the collectibles except for one of the gold bricks, and that's because we obtained that in the story playthrough. And according to our math, the true wizard's right around 50k, and uh, we'll go ahead and grab it this time. Yeah, what do you say to that? All right, as uh, always, we have sped the video up just a little bit. We're going to start off in the Leaky Cauldron. We're going to go ahead and select the second level free play out of the dungeon. And uh, you might notice we have a two-time stud multiplier on, too. Very important to have that if you're going to try to get that true wizard status. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be a lot of grindage. Speaking of grindage, right as you start, there is a bookcase. There is a memory game that you need to play. Go ahead and match the four uh, buttons in order, and it will kick down with the first character token. So that was quick and easy, huh? And right after that, you will advance a little bit, and you will notice that the big troll smashes this wall, and down comes all these bricks, and it opens up this little area for the kitty cat to go in. So get your kitty cat out and go get your purr on. And actually make your way through the tube and smash the two buttons that actually will prevent that gas uh, from spewing out everywhere and allow you to get by. So once you get that, grab all the studs, got to get them all, got to get them all, and keep advancing up. And as you do, it'll cut to another scene where the troll walks up and smashes the bottom of that mermaid tail and a rock drops down, blocking your path yet again. We're not going to worry too much about that yet. We're actually going to jump into not one, but two of the house crests here. And they're kind of overlapped, and I apologize for that. But essentially, use Reducto to destroy that silver steel. I don't know what that is. Some sort of a preventative there. And once you do that, you can spin that wheel. But also on the ground here, there are three fish. So use Wingardium Leviosa to go ahead and put those three fish inside the little pond there. And once you get all three of them in there, you'll be rewarded with the green house crest. Now, if you continue to spin that wheel that we actually discussed, Discovered after using Reducto on that silver ball or bell, whatever it was, uh, go ahead and spin the wheel, and as you can see up top, the yellow house crest is up there waiting for us. So, uh, pretty easy stuff. Two of the house crests right there, side by side, and I think the hardest part about it was actually using that water path to actually guide us to uh, the actual crest itself. Now, once you jump across up there and uh, got, got that second crest, you're going to use Wingardium Leviosa on that torch up there. As you saw us torch the old armor guy there, and he dropped some parts. We build them up into, uh, well, some sort of a spear. It looks like a golf club slash spear that the mermaid uses to knock that rock, knock that block off. You know what I'm saying? So uh, now that we have a little bit of room to get through, we advance and we notice that right off the bat, the troll dips out and goes into the next room. So we're going to keep on keeping on. And up here, there's another silver wheel we destroy with Reducto. And uh, behind that, inside the desk, is another character token. So, oh, to the yeah, we're making good ground. And as promised, these free play videos are short and sweet. Now, a little bit of a doozy thrown at you here. Now, along the way, you might have noticed there is a handful of, like, flower pots on these little pedestals. There are nine in total, in fact. And we're going to go ahead and knock out all nine of them right now in one fell swoop. Now, don't forget, too, on the front left side of the screen, there is a handful of blue studs. You're going to want to grab those if you're going for that true wizard status. Now, the first two of the flower pots are right at the beginning. The next two are right before the little pond area here. And we got two more right after, so that's six down now. And we're going to keep on keeping on, and right up around the corner here, there's one on the front ground, one behind this chair in the right corner, and then there's one on the far right up there that's really hard to see depending on the angle you're at. But we're going to get it for you right now. It's over on the far right side. Booyah kashow. When you get all nine of them, the red house crest presents itself. So make sure you jump up and grab that. And now we're going to make our way back to the start one more time. Now, why did we do it this way? Well, we didn't want to mix up these items. We like to get them all in the specific order that they are in rather than going, you know, here's two of these now and here's two of these other things for later and yada yada. So we're going to go ahead and get all seven of these lights fixed right now. Now, truth be told, only four of them are actually in this first area. So we've got three of them knocked out, and the fourth one is right there. And at this point, we can now advance. Make sure you get the bluesies on the far right side over there, too. And uh, you'll need to switch to a female here, Hermione in this case. And we'll go ahead and hit the icon indicated, wave our wand, and the door goes open. And we can advance into the final area where the next three of the lights that need fixing are. So 
Uh, switch those bulbs on on the two on the left side of the big long area here and then tuck into the left little cubby hole and Buyuka Shao, the blue house crest is chilling waiting for us now that we got all seven if you missed one of them then you're gonna have to start the level over unfortunately but uh, if you didn't then go ahead and smack the middle locker over here build up the pieces that you get out of it and jump up on top to get the third and final character token and then we can move on to the final element here, which happens to be the student in peril. And more than likely, you probably got this on the story mode walkthrough. But just in case you didn't, uh, we're going to go ahead and show you where it is now. So you get the troll's attention, and he comes running down and basically destroys all the bathroom stalls, preventing any privacy from taking that, well, you know. And, uh, yeah, actually he reveals somebody who was actually using the bathroom, who happens to be a student in peril. So walk up and give him the old high five. I don't know, I might wash, make him wash his hands first, but... Uh, go ahead and give him the high five and he'll run off and you'll get credit for that and that actually wraps up all the collectibles for this level So as always we're gonna finish up with this level by taking out the troll And it just requires us using Wingardium Leviosa to return a couple of things He throws at us and then eventually this broom pops up We gotta swing it around and I had a little bit of a trouble with it But uh, eventually I get it and we take off to the final total screen so Oh, to the yeah, all three character tokens as you can see there Booyah Kashao and all four house crests as promised and uh, yeah, and then we're gonna go ahead and check out the true wizard status, which bam, we got that too. Or as our good friend Jacob from TPB would say, bam, rest in peace, Mustard Tiger. And we're gonna count up all them studs while waiting for the student in peril. Turn that frown upside down. And uh, a couple gold bricks to go along with it as well. So uh, once we get all those in the bag, that's actually going to wrap up Lego Harry Potter years one through four. Level two out of the dungeon free play. And uh, yeah. We're having a blast doing this. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the series as well. Uh, lots of collectibles to be found, and we're going to keep on keeping on. Hey, if you guys have something to say or want to get involved in any kind of conversation, questions, whatever, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment down below, subscribe, and vote if you like what we're doing here. If you don't like what we're doing here, of course, give us the thumbs down, but let us know in a comment how we could do better and improve. And uh, other than that, I got nothing else. Check out our uh, happythumbsgaming.com. I, I guess I lied. I do have some more stuff. Twitch, G+, and uh, Twitter. Twitter. What? I already said Twitter. Anyways, I'm, I'm messing up. So, as always, until next time. Should have rolled out the first time, huh? Um, can, can I help you? Is there, is there something you're waiting for? Oh, I didn't properly, uh, close it out, did I? That being said...